This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Watch this or listen. Guys, 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 guys. I know you want to skip this ad, but listen to everything Andy has to say. And don't skip. I'm very important, and what, what I'm about to say is also very important. Yeah. Because, guys, guess what? The end of the year is right around the corner. Yeah. It's getting cold. You feel that? I'm going to breathe. It's getting cold up in here. Ooh. Listen, I want to encourage you guys. If you have a, you work for a business or organization or a church or anything like that, and you order custom apparel, stickers, hats, shirts, whatever it may be, guess what? Christmas is right around the corner. Mm-hmm. Winter retreats are happening. Everything yes. is all right here. And you go to sundaycool.com. You can order everything, and we can get it to you lickety split. With our 72-hour turnaround time. Absolutely. Blah, 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 blah. So whether you're buying hoodies or pullovers or hats or stocking caps or beanies or shirts, go to sundaycool.com. Put in your order today. Better now than never so we can get it to you and make all your Christmas dreams come true. Well, yes. Okay, that's the end of the end. Love Thanks, you. Thank you for not skipping. The Frappuccino is the blended frosted drink. I don't do that. We used to go to Starbucks. I'm not above it. (laughs) (laughs) Give me a cookie crumble every now and then. I'll do it. (laughs) Anyway, she says that. Yeah. And then this woman stitched it. And she said, "Um, obviously, somebody like an alien is taking over my body because I'm sympathizing with men, is what she says. But (laughs) we sound like that. And she's talking about how, like, um, men who order (laughs) Frappuccinos. And she's like, you literally sound like that. And she said, listen, I'm not above it. I went to work today and immediately razzed my male coworker for wearing ankle socks and saying that gives me the ick. And then in the same breath said, don't go into the bathroom. I just took a mega dump. (laughs) 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 And she said, we're going to end up single and alone. Yeah. 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 Women are. Stop with the ick stuff. (laughs) If it it was a thing, like it wasn't so serious, like it, like I've seen people literally say, I am now unattracted to you, and now you're a different type of person to me. That's way over the line. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have no problem, hey, like making fun funny? of ankle socks and being, like, razzing each other. That's like, the whole point are these of our socks? friendship. No. Oh, they're, like, right there. They like the no-shows. What Austin wears. He wears Nikki's socks. Oh, like oh. the ones that, like, scoop under? Mm-hmm. See, I feel like there was a time where the no see socks were all the rage. Now it's like... <laughs> they make a lot of sense. <laughs> I mean, it makes total sense. Why add extra fabric to your body that you don't need? Listen, I'm not over here saying yeah. I get the ick from ankle socks. Yeah. I don't. I think that they're efficient. They're efficient? Efficient. I used to be a, a no seams kind of guy, but now I've been doing a little bit no higher. Seams? No seams? Like, socks. Like yeah, no seams. Socks. Yeah, no seams. Socks. Yeah. Now, like what gives you the ick? Mm. I don't have. I don't get the ick anymore because the, the whole thing was <laughs> My, like the whole thing is like it's a relationship thing, right? Yeah, it should be. Yeah. I mean, it's, it doesn't, I, there's things that drive it, me it crazy gives, that Kelsey does. It gives me the ick Ooh. when girls are very serious about things that give them the ick. Ooh. Ooh. You having an ick is my ick. Knowledge. Knowledge, <laughs> dude. Do you know Ty Lopez That's commented on one of our videos? I don't know who that is. The knowledge guy? The guy's like, you know what's better than these Ferraris in my car? Knowledge. Do you don't remember no that? that? You don't guy. remember that YouTube like, ad? You would recognize it if you saw it. Yeah, he's great. Knowledge. Knowledge. I read a what book a say? day. Uh, he, he literally talks. He's like, I just got done driving my Ferrari through the Beverly Hills. But you know what's better than Ferraris? And then he pans over and he's got like a library in his garage. <laughs> in his garage. <laughs> it's like knowledge. He's like, I read a book a day. And it's like, and it turns out he has assistants that skim books. Oh, he's being and serious? Pitch yeah. It to him. Yeah, 100%. What did he comment on our video? Oh, he was just some. It was just some joke. It had nothing oh. to do with really anything. But it was just funny that like I was like, "What is Ty Lopez? <laughs> Ari- Ariana, what are you doing here?" <laughs> Have we started? Oh, we're whoops. started. Um, we're started. We're four minutes in. The time has started. <laughs> ah, go! I was listening to a podcast that conspiracy theory. Another podcast that about that's not ours. Yes. Ugh do that quite often mm, that's the um worst. but they were like it's about i really want to tell this story eventually but there's so many names and stuff that is so complicated that i need to sit yeah. down and listen to it like five times but they're throwing out names and i was like in my car you know how we talked about where you just do accents mm-hmm. 
And the guy's like, and Richard of Glasgow or whatever. And I'm like, Richard the third of Glasgow. <laughs> yeah. Of half of half. But when we were. Uh, oh, oh, no, it was like Thorn Branch. <laughs> Thorn Branch, yeah. That sounds like the Richard Thorn Branch. Richard of Thorn Branch. <laughs> Do you know the, um, Tim Curry? You know who Tim Curry is, right? Rocky Horror Show, it. He was it's Steph's father, right? He, uh, who, who is your Tim Curry? Steph Curry? <laughs> no. Oh. No, no he's guy. the guy that Curry. made the dish. No, but that's he's he's from Thailand. No, 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 that's that's uh, Curry Curry. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, no, no, no. This guy, he uh, he does it the original. He did Rocky Horror Picture. He, huge actor, one Who of the best. But is he's your Tim Curry. Oh, once once uh, th- that's what I'm saying. Nigel Thornberry. Now that I found out he's Nigel Thornberry, Shut up. and I'm like, that's my Tim Curry. <laughs> oh yeah, I was all Thornberry. No idea, dude. It's the best. Wait, so who does Tim? Who what does Tim Curry sound like? Is that so? Were you that's, saying that's the iconic voice or something? He does like that's all very over exaggerated, but he's oh. just incredible voice actor. But he's an actor all around. He's incredible. I'm an actor. Ah, yes. <laughs> that, was <sweet. laughs> that was when the curtains were falling and everyone's applauding. <laughs> it's always that. It he- was me. It's always the that- whole time. <laughs> it's always that heavy breathing after just a big, a big climactic. <laughs> They go out on stage like, <laughs> or when the or when the villain after at the end of the musical comes out for the bow and he walks out with his like his gun or anything and then, <laughs> Luke breaks character for the first time. <laughs> he did the thing. Um, song. What about question? What goes first? Song. song. What? Are, what? She's new. What she's new. This? She's never been on this podcast before. Song. We're not on our fifty eighth episode or anything. Goodness gracious! It's like she doesn't even care about <clears throat> anything about the show. Yeah. It's just. Ugh. Oh That's an ick. That's an ick. Watch it. Ugh. That's how they came up with the name. Oh. <laughs> um. Sure. <laughs> Butterflies Ninjas In a disguise Ninjas Ninjas Tell us why Why you fly Into the sky so high, 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 high. Ninjas on butterflies. <laughs> wow. I feel like if we kept going, we could have come up with something. No, I, 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 I we almost want to continue a little bit. I don't know that high, high, high. Didn't we do something like that already, though? That song? was the ninjas. That was the uh, Guy Fieri. Mm. The ninjas are butterflies. You see them standing in the sky. They are always in disguise. They are looking who you lies. They wanna fight the cowboys of the West. They wanna own the government. Look at here they come. They're in the White House. Oh no! President, get down! Windows! The butterflies! The president has been compromised. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, not Mr. President, oh no, leave him alone. We will have our revenge one day, but not today. For today, we rest and we plan, because we rise at dawn. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.
Yeah. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Not our president. <laughs> Leave him alone. Get down. I realized right before you told me, hey, uh, yeah, the song. Literally, my brain was completely empty on where I was going. <laughs> we was should like, probably oh, go I back should. to writing songs like that, to where he just starts playing, <laughs> yeah, and then we start singing and yeah. we come up with something. Hundred percent, yeah. That's your creative. We're process. over. Th- we're overthinking it. Yeah, Kenny Back has walked in here earlier, and he was just like, "I was sitting there. Josh was sitting there. And we're just like listening to music, and we're just like, it just looks like we're the weirdest people in the world because we're just <laughs> trying to like, feel out a song." <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back. Hey, everyone, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Just shush yourself. Uh, you were the one talking. Shush. Okay. Today's question sent in by a viewer. Are what? Good? Are you good? Is that the sun chips I packed you? On Monday. Why do we have sun chips in here? I, again, oh everyone oh be quiet. Gosh. Be quiet. Okay, sorry. Lily. <laughs> Today's question sent in by a viewer. Does Taylor Swift hate old people? <laughs> wow. Well, Yo, I'm probably. Whoa. 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 What are you talking about? Explain what you were just saying. I don't know. Why would she hate old people? Why would you just Lily? immediately just say that? You never you never speak up like that. So like you obviously feel strongly about it. I just don't care for Taylor Swift. <sighs> wow. wow. She's a child of God, but yeah. Yeah. Is she really is she a believer? I should we're be nice all, to her all children of God. So whether or not we choose to follow them. <gasps> what do you think? Uh I don't I don't think so at all. Mm. I know she I don't really think she dates older people, so I don't like, maybe yeah. she discriminates, but I don't think she hates. Okay. Yeah. My wife's know. a Swifty and based on her accounts, no chance at all she hates old people. Well Lily's actually onto something. What are you talking about? <laughs> because I looked up the lyrics to one of her songs. You're kidding me. This is how it goes. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. You old smelly geezer. <laughs> what? Are you yeah. kidding me? That's literally what it says. <laughs> no way. Yes. Yes. So apparently. Taylor Swift's an ageist. I stand corrected. That's the that's the noun. Ageist. She's an ageist. Taylor Swift is an ageist. She hates old people, guys. Welcome to the show. (laughs) Bummer. Oh, man. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas are dead. I looked up, I literally went on Google. I'm like, what's the. the, Term. Uh, noun for ageism or the yeah the adjective the adjective to, yeah. yeah 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 like how you describe somebody ageist. Being that makes it's sense a, it's, yeah. a, it's a noun like yeah. racist ageist racism ageism ageistism platoism isms that's a lot of isms guys uh oh um you know what I hate racism same you know what? I'm gonna say it <laughs> guys I think it's pretty bad I'm gonna go on record I hate racism. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to turn this off because they disagree with that statement, but I think if you look it up and you look at the definition of what racism actually means, yeah, I think you're going to be really surprised that you don't support it. Wait. Wait. I'm going to be like, no, no, that you don't. <laughs> I'm gonna you're going to be really surprised. <laughs> However, I meant that. That, you, that you're going to be surprised that you support you it. You don't already support it. No. No. Again. Wait. <laughs> no. no. What are you talking about? No. What are you saying? I'm like, no. Like, you're, just like, you're like, it's okay. No, no, oh, no, 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 got no. Okay, no. got it. Okay, I'm, I'm misunderstanding. Okay. <laughs> we'll stop there. Yeah, you're going to be really. <laughs> I was looking at my notes for a second and I heard what you said. Like, Wait, <laughs> no. No, you, you get it. You get it. Guys, a lot has happened in this world. Wait. Oh, but before we start, we'll talk more about it in the ad. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in human history, ninjas or butterflies are officially on Patreon. Let's go. Patreon.com forward slash ninjas or butterflies. Will you, you can join the team and get 
the most exclusive content ever. Be Listen, there or be square. Ever since our first episode, people have been saying, we need more of this. Mm -hmm. We need more yep. content. We put out other sketch they videos. Went two a the, week. Yeah. And this is your chance. Mm -hmm. You know, no pressure. <laughs> but guess what? We're going to be putting out some sick content on this thing. Yeah. And Exclusive gonna, just to Patreon. Weekly content. Yes. Yes. It's going to be have different tiers. We'll talk about it more in the ad. So stay tuned for that. Yep. Don't skip it. Yeah, but go to be be one of the very first people to sign up. Yeah. Um, it's October. It's October, <laughs> baby. It's fall, y'all. I'm excited. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. We can't do that yet. Oh. Because it's not a Halloween episode. No. It's okay. We'll save it. It's your birthday month. <laughs> Yay! It's Halloween. It's my fall. birthday month. Ah! Thirty one years old. If you're on Patreon, we'll do a poll where you get to vote on what we dress up as for Halloween. Cool. That'd be fun. That I, is hip. I would figure we. I wanted to do like a four person thing, like a. Oh, like where we like all a theme? do a yeah, do a certain theme. That'd be oh, fun. Cool. <clears throat> so maybe we can come up with some options. Did you guys so hear options. about uh, speaking of Halloween and uh, the month of October? Uh, it was in the eighties, I believe. Did you ever hear that farmer who won this race, this marathon? It's not even. A, I guess it's a marathon in uh, Australia. Yes. Wearing boots? Uh, no, he wasn't wearing boots. Wasn't he, I, I thought he wore boots. No. No? Maybe I'll think of a different person. <laughs> so this farmer in Australia entered this race, and it is a long, long race. And it takes – no one's ever been able to beat it in seven days. Like, it's a seven-day – you're running for seven days. And he's just this old man farmer. He wasn't that and, old. Yeah, he was, like, in his 60s. That's not old. Okay. Okay. Taylor Swift. Golly, Lil. Um, <clears throat> uh -oh. Old. I was on this roll. I was on this roll of describing this story. And you it was like butter. He was on a roll. He was crushing it. And he was a farmer. And everyone was like mocking him because he was just wearing like, everyone had like their like elite, yeah. nice sportswear, nice running shoes. And he just went out there with like a t-shirt, like some. Like a man. Like just some shorts that he like probably found in a thrift store and some sneakers. Yeah. Sneak us. He started running last place right off the bat. But this dude just kept on running. He didn't take any breaks, right? No breaks. Because everyone else took like. And he yeah. finished the race in five and a half days. It's insane. Literally Crazy. a day and a half before anyone else finished. And was he a trained runner? Like, was no. He, no. And so what they, they went back and like, how did you do that? Yeah. And he's a, on his farm, he's also like a shepherd and all his sheep and stuff when he brings them through like the mountains and stuff, he's literally running with them for days at a time. Craziness. Wow. That's. And so his endurance was insane. All natural, dude. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. That's epic. Just out here chasing the sheep. In my sneakers. <laughs> in my sneakers. <laughs> that's what I was driving when I was talking in the car because we were going to be filming that Australian video. Yeah. And so that's all I was talking about. Just out loud. Every time, everything I heard on the radio or the podcast, I would just repeat in an Australian accent. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought that was crazy, man. What, that's, a, what a guy. Dude, what a beast. Yeah. For real, holding the record like that, that's got to be something. I, I I don't know why I thought the boots thing, but I thought I remember just being him like being weirdly underdressed for a race. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's absolutely it's a wild. wild. It's not a walkabout. Oh. It, it's a runabout. Hey. You're getting getting owned by someone in an athletic competition who is not dressed for the sport is one of the most humiliating things. <laughs> like when I play soccer and somebody shows up with like the cheapest cleats and like they it, when they can handle the bar, ball better than I can, it like makes me feel incredibly <laughs> stupid with my two hundred dollar pair of like Adidas laces cleats. Uh, um, speaking of Australia, though, because you know Australia is technically under the authority of the crown. Yes. They're also, they're down under the, the authority of the crown? Of the, of the crown? <laughs> they, they are a region of, an extension of England. England. Um, they're like the hillbillies of England. Do you know what else is under the authority of the crown? What? Disney. I know what. What? I Disney what. World in Orlando, Florida. What does that mean? How? Okay, so. They own Disney World? Listen. Like stocks? Did you listen, know Listen. Do what? Did you know this? Uh, no, I th no, no, I didn't. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Diet Coke. You're holding up a Diet Coke. I was like, did you know this? I'm like, what is the question you're asking me the right Disney now? Thing. So, no, I didn't know this. No. Ron DeSantis, it was a couple months back, was trying to um, take away their, what's it called? Like their tax status. Their tax exemption, yeah. Yeah, their tax exemption, but like their self-governing. Because mm -hmm. Disney yeah. has always been like a self-governing yeah. yeah. 
entity within Florida, so they don't pay taxes, the taxes that major businesses and do stuff uh, in Florida do. Because um, DeSantis and Disney World, Disney pretty like, they butt heads, right? Yeah, so he's kind of like, just, it's okay. all like Disney's going woke, so they're going to pay the piper. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, they yeah. like started like um, speaking into like Ron DeSantis and like his stuff. Like they started getting into politics. Disney exactly. was like, he's yeah. like, if you're going to get into politics, let's get That's into politics. politics. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Ron DeSantis lost that battle. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> never mind, I didn't mean it. Because it came <laughs> out after all this that Disney's like, hey, why don't you just read this piece of paper that we have? <laughs> it says, okay. um, we are under the royal family clause, which basically means Disney World within Florida uh-huh. is technically owned. The land is owned by the royal family of England. How? I don't know how that works either. I don't know how they did it. How did that happen? Because he bought well, he bought that land in the 70s, right? Yes, I know. They, did. they did some sort of exchange. I tried to do a ton of research. Did they fund it? And like that was one of the maybe the clauses no, like is that they would this, own it. This just happened recently to where they're able to get this clause. Oh, okay, so it was this. Okay, so yeah, so yeah. They, they haven't always owned it. No, got it. Okay, cool. From what I know, they got would it. have had to have like given the land, yeah. to the so, crown, and yeah. now it's protected. Yeah, they they basically said the Disney is the corporate owner of this land, yeah. but the royal family owns this land. The U.S. cannot tax what is the royal family's. Why? Because why do they own U.S. Why? land? Get out of here! Yeah. Come on. What's but, the Florida version of a Boston Tea Party? Mm. Oh, uh, orange juice. An orange meth party. Orange yeah, meth. An Orlando <laughs> meth to, party it has to be something. <laughs> we just we own. go to Epcot and we just trash the UK part. Oh yeah, we just like oh my gosh. <laughs> just like the, find the line and yeah. just make sure <laughs> we just go. No one touch Germany. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like it literally this clause goes back all the way to like I think it's like 1621 mm-hmm. under the Magna Carta okay like this it's an ancient law really so it's and like a grandfather thing like it's it, just been around forever yeah and it says in the, the clause that um, the this will remain in the royal family until the last yes. heir of King Charles III has passed away and then when they have passed away it will take another 21 years who is that uh, Has King Charles III been born yet? Yes, that's the King of England. Listen, relax for a <laughs> second. I don't listen. Duh, Lily. How, I don't know how many kings Charles, King Charles. He III is the been. current King of England, and he's the third one. Yes, that's happened. Yes. So after he dies, twenty-one years later. No, his or, descendant. It says oh his wow! Descendants. So it's never, never that. Yeah, unless his <laughs> family just goes kaput. Yeah. Wait, what did it say? The descendants of King Charles III. As long as they're alive, it will remain so in this clause. Unless the royal family, unless they all perish, at, yeah, you still have twenty-one years after that. Interesting. I don't get that. That's so weird. So, like, what? So, what does that mean for Disney World? Like, it, does Desantis does like? Can they actually do anything? No. Like, so Disney World, they're they're just going to continue to grow. And they're, they're just gonna, independent. Yeah. Wow. But that's also it. Made me think of like, um, uh, DC. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they're not. They're their own uh, independent district. self-governing. Yeah, they're the District of yeah. Columbia. They're not in a state. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that it's so weird. I want to do more. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that with the embassies, right? Like that's U.S. Like if like overseas, you go to a yeah. U.S. embassy, that is U.S. territory, correct? Right. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So, but I don't know how that applied to Disney. Like it's so weird. Yeah. yeah. And when I had seen something about it, they had mentioned that um, they must have been in a pretty dire situation to pull that card. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I've heard they've been rumored. They've been rumored to move, like Disney World, like relocating out of Florida. So That's that would, that, I, I think, it would be There's insane no because they're ex- they're already yeah. expanding. So I don't think yeah. it's gonna be possible, but. I don't know. That's yeah. that's wild. That's absolutely crazy. That remind, the when you mentioned King George that uh have you Lily, you see that video of these two guys who are just biking in oh, uh, yes. England? Yes. And they just run upon the king yeah. of crazy. England just by himself just and they're just just chatting. Do your impression, Ned. Of who? King Charles. Oh, let's hear it. I said oh, George. Geez. I said George. Sorry, yeah, Charles. Um close. King King Charles. I don't know. I, I need to hear what he sounds it's, like. It's very like nasally. And then uh, um, uh, 
Ah, I need to hear it. Yeah, I, okay. can, I can't picture him saying anything, so I would have just nodded. But, so but it was it was so nuts. The dude I saw the video. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, just yeah. in a rain jacket, just chilling. Crazy. It's like and apparently they said like uh, they do that every once in a while. The security will like back off long ways, and they'll have it be in open areas like that to make him feel normal. Can, say, can you pull up a clip of King Charles talking? It's like it's oh I, yeah, look I up the video. I won't yeah, be able to. It's very long and nasally uh, and drawn out. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were at Captain Balmoral. <laughs> they were they were at their holiday in Balmoral. Balmoral, and they spend Christmas there. Happy Christmas, every one of us. <laughs> so, is this your summer vacation to Balmoral? Is it? The weather was better. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It was typical. Yeah. Typical. 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 King Charles was typical. Typical. I gotta, yeah, that wasn't a good voice thing. To Listen, hear. we love the crown, and they had just over and over and over again done just phenomenal casting. However, I, need to watch it. I feel like their most recent Charles, it not it. Yeah, He's not, not it. He no. ain't it. Ah, ah, He's ah, too ah. tan. Too tan. <laughs> Kristen Stewart did a pretty good Diana. She did, she which did we did not expect. Pretty phenomenal. That was a. That was kind of a scary. Yeah, movie. it was scary. Yeah, it was pretty dark. Um, but speaking of the royal family and Don't castles that. and all that stuff, oh no! Have you heard of the mystery of the Loretto Chapel? <laughs> no, where's Loretto Chapel at? It is that? in uh, crap. <laughs> oh in no! New Mexico. Loretto Chapel. I think it's in New Mexico. Okay. Um, but this is this is the craziest story. I think it's so cool. So, New Mexico. New Mexico? Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't look more into it. Don't look more into it. Okay. Golly, what? I can see you snooping. <laughs> <laughs> Quit being such a snoop. Just let me tell a story look, for relax. once. You've been cutting me off this whole time. No. I've been trying to like, no. undermine my story. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Do we need to talk? Do we need to have a no, session right now? Listen. Josh <laughs> the mystery listen. of the Loretto Chapel. Yes. Um, okay. So, they were building this chapel in New Mexico. Um. And the French architect who was building this chapel, he all of a sudden died in 1878. And he did not complete the staircase to the choir loft. Okay. And so the the sisters of the Loretta Chapel, the nuns, you mm -hmm. know, they're like, they did this whole thing. I forget what it was called, but they pray for nine days to get an answer of what to do with these stairs. Okay. And they pray to St. Joseph and they said, St. Joseph, please pray to Jesus that someone is sent to build these stairs so the chapel can be complete. Um, at the end of the nine days of prayer, this man comes in from across the desert, this old wow. man with his big gray long beard riding a donkey, walks into the church, and he says, uh, I was sent here to build stairs. Stop it! <gasps> Listen. He built these stairs in three months and just dipped. What? They left. And so they disappeared. Yeah, he just left. And the sister's like, well, we didn't pay him. So, like, he, this the staircase is beautiful. It's yeah. all hardwood. And it's like, Worked for three months. It's a spiral yeah. staircase. Oh. Um, let me show you the pictures of it real quick. That's wild. So, dude, those on. things, things like that, okay, they just scare that? me. See that? Yeah. So this old man by himself in three wow. months built this beautiful, beautiful Amazing. spiral staircase, right? 1870s. And so the wow. sisters went to the lumber yard and said, basically, like, do we owe you anything? They yeah. said, this man never came and got wood from us. And it was the only place in town, obviously, because the it's, it's not like they had Lowe's or Home Depot. Yeah, it was 1800. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And, it's amazing. Um, there was not a there's not a single nail used on this staircase. Wow. What? That is <laughs> Listen. How is that possible? It's all like and then, expert joinery or something? Yeah, joinery and then he what? used like wooden pegs. But every like, time you see that type of construction, it takes forever. Yeah. And then they did a sample of the wood. Oh my they, gosh. They got like a little piece that broke Dude. off or something. The guy sent it to um a what did he call him? It was some sort of scientist. Oh, farts. Where is it? Um, and yeah, gave like it to, go, that, to, to like find the source, the actual yeah, true source of where the wood's from. Yeah. So he gave it to a naval scientist. He called him in 1995. And the closest they could find to what type of wood that was, 
was a tree that only grows in Alaska. Oh my gosh. But it still didn't match it 100%. So they have no idea. No idea where this wood is from or what tree Dude, it's from. That is such a wild and then, story. And then the curator of this chapel, yeah. he brought in over 120 um, uh, experts in making spiral staircases. Mm -hmm. None of them could replicate, they, could replicate yeah. it. They said, we don't know how to do that. Wow. And he even put it out there said any civil engineer that can explain how this is standing and so structurally sound mm -hmm. with no nails the, with the, his methods, please explain it. And he says to this day, every civil engineer in the world has not been able to explain how it was built. Dude, he built the pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, that dude alone. These sisters believe that, uh, Joseph yeah. himself came cause oh he was a carpenter. Oh my gosh. Wait, <gasps> dude. And like that's built the staircase. That would be goosebumps. man because they that's were cool. playing to Saint yeah. Joseph. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like that's wild, dude. That's so I mean, you strange. Look at the pictures. It's it's I like yeah. I'm gonna, I can't wait to look it up more. I would love. Let's go visit this place. I would love to. do I know. that. That'd oh be so gosh. neat. You walk God up the so stairs. Cool. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Andy, come on <laughs> now. <laughs> that uh, would. That's wild. I love stories like that, man. There's um. There's a story I heard. No, no. no this what? is what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> let's go visit yeah let's dye your beard gray oh you my come gosh. riding in on the donkey and you ride up to the doorsteps of this chapel and you get off and you're just like inspecting the staircase mm. no you, <laughs> you like maybe like polish off one part and get on your donkey and just ride out no you you go in there a day before and you hide something for me and i come in the <laughs> next day and i'm like Forgot my wrench, and then <laughs> I just walk right out. <laughs> Got this. That would be funny. Yeah, there's a there's where my ten millimeter socket went. <laughs> um, there was a uh, a story that I heard, and it was from oh gosh, it was some uh, ruler in uh, in Africa, and it was like over a certain um, in the middle of the middle of Africa, and he was a ruler, and it was a restricted country. There was no Christianity allowed or anything like that, and there was a missionary that was had uh, you know children, and they were housing some people that were on the run. And he had a house and everything, and he's uh, gotten message after message, get out of here or we will execute you. Mm. Get out of our land, go wherever. And they said, we're not leaving. And so they sat home and they prayed and everything like that. And uh, these people roll up. He has, like, the, the guy tells his, you know, like, I don't know how many officers to come out there. And uh, this is, I think, early 1900, like mid-1900s, so 1950 maybe. Um, they roll up, and they stand out there, apparently, and then they leave. And the mission, they're like, they're, they're, they're so scared. They're yeah. like figuring out. And then they leave and they look out there and they're terrified. And then weeks go by and they finally go into town. They finally start talking to somebody because they think cool, things have cooled down and no one's visited them. And they asked, apparently, there was rumors and myths <gasps> happening around this place because they're like, they're like listen, why, why, why didn't you, why didn't they go in? Why didn't yeah. they attack us? Why didn't they take us? And they said it was because there was no joke. They said because the horses and the people on the horses. Whoa. And they said, what are we talking about? He says, yeah, when we got there, you got your house was surrounded by like these people like on uh, black horses, like dressed in white and everything like that. And it's like, what in the world? And like oh every, everyone gosh. had talked about it. Every officer had like said the exact same story. And it's just wild. And it's like, there's wow. no reason for them to lie. No reason That's for them. That's crazy. It's wild. There's another account just like that where it was people in a house, witch doctor had surrounded mm -hmm. the place. They started praying. And then same thing. They just leave. They're like, that's weird. They go out. Years later, the witch doctor actually became a Christian. And the, the people in the house end up talking, why didn't you attack? He was like, the soldiers. What do you mean? Wow. He was like, you were guarded by soldiers. Oh, my goodness. They're like, that's oh, crazy. We were. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so crazy. God is amazing. Um, so All cool. the time. Speaking of soldiers, though. Don't say it. Please. I'm not. I'm ready. not going to say it yet. George H.W. Okay. Bush was a soldier. <laughs> What are you talking about? George Bush Sr.? Yeah. He was a soldier in yeah. World War II. Did he you was? know this? I did not know that. He was a pilot. A lot of them were. For the Navy. Right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this story was wild, and I've never heard it. In 1992, George Bush, President George Bush Sr., yeah. was he at was, this- um, He was in him while he was a president? No. No, no, no. No. That, that was just the begin. Like he was in the okay. navy. All right, fine. Going back in time or going forward now. Fine. Oh my gosh! Just listen. No, okay? don't. <laughs> it's the way you're telling it. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, what's your ha deal? Hash it out right now. We got to get out of the way. Hash it out. 
just, it out. just let me talk. I'm connecting it all. All Say right. It. Say it then. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're being mean. No, 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 no. Everyone, shut up. I'm listening Wait. to you. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on your side. I can't say Lily, sh- shut up. Because oh, that's fair. That's, <laughs> fair. that's fair. Um, anyways, 1992, George Bush Sr. was at this Japanese state dinner, and they brought out this, like, sushimi stuff in front of him. Mm-hmm. He literally, there's the video of it, he pukes, just, <gasps> <gasps> and then, like, passes out. Jeez. It was insane. Like, terrifying looking. Okay. And when I'm... When I first saw it, <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny because yeah. I'm like, oh, he's just like, ooh, raw yeah, fish, yeah. sushi, <laughs> yuck. Yeah. Um, but then I found out the story of why he did that, and it was the saddest, scariest thing ever. Really? Yeah. The people? Um, so um, in 1944, he was flying a bomber with uh, two other people in this plane, and they're going to uh, um, Father Island, which is a it was a stronghold by the Japanese army in the Pacific, And it was like a critical thing. They had to like knock down this radio tower, bomb it. Um, He was able to hit the tower, but then his plane was shot down. Him and his guys parachuted out of their plane. Jeez. And then the the Japanese soldiers saw where they landed. So they got in their boats and they started going towards them. Oh my gosh. And they had a life raft. And so they were all just paddling as fast as they could. And other U.S. planes that were flying around saw it. They basically got the Japanese boats not to get them. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Did that? that <laughs> yeah, okay. you gotta, you gotta get no comment. They're shooting <laughs> cover fire. They were shooting at the boats, and so it like deterred them from getting yeah. Bush and the other two guys. Totally. It, like four hours went by. They gave it the location of where they were. A submarine came and got them. There's a video of them pulling uh, President Bush onto the submarine. Wow. Super Jeez. cool, right? Yeah. Um, but then there was eight dudes that were also shot down that were captured by the Japanese army. Oh, no. And this is true because it's like in a memoir. Memoir? Memoir, yep. Um, These eight guys, four of them, they're all tortured and like beat and stuff, Mm -hmm. but four of them were actually cut up and cannibalized. Presented to the generals and stuff as a dinner. People. And so George Bush was basically like, I could have been one of those people that was eaten, dude. And then it's like he—they were eating the people. Yes, and it was like they like cut out like their liver and Ugh. like because they said it was like dude. I don't even. The know. The sashimi was person. Yes, oh, and it was no. our own soldiers. Yes. No. I, so what happened to the person that was serving the sashimi? We wait. Sashimi that what? guy? No, no, no. You just made a weird connection. No. What, what are you saying? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, <laughs> Lily. This happened in 1944. And when the, when is George W. Bush? He, when throw, he was he at the Japanese state dinner. 94. That was in 1992. It was a, he had a flashback of everything that happened. <laughs> and he was eating sashimi. And he's like, this could have been a person. And that's why he threw up. He had a war flashback, Lily. He went back You're in time. In his way. <laughs> Bro. I'm just not understanding. Then listen. You're just trying to think of all the things it's, that are wrong with the story instead of no, just listening to the story. I'm listening to it. Why did he throw up? He had a traumatic, like, like PTSD, PTSD of the reaction story. Okay. of remembering that moment. Don't <laughs> yell at me. Don't yell at me. Anyway, speaking of Japanese sushi, we got an ad. Don't go anywhere. Oh, man. <laughs> Hello, Andy. Oh, yes. Hey, who are, wait, I have are you? I come with a message from the future. Oh, yes. Please tell us. Turns out your Patreon is a hit. Oh, <gasps> no way. We just dropped it today. I know. Wow. That's great news. Why, why do people think it's such a great hit, though? Because of the exclusive content that is only available by signing up on our Patreon. Yeah, but you're not probably uploading very frequently. So what's the point? Every week we are. You're kidding me. But it's probably really expensive. So it's- no, it's not. Because okay. I'm from the future. Oh. And money no longer exists. Oh, wow. That's incredible. But so, it does here. So everyone should um, spend their money now because money doesn't exist in the future. Yes. So, put ev- so it doesn't put all, matter. So put all your money into this Patreon. 
Correct. Oh, that's awesome. So you're telling me like, we're going to have extra bonus episodes. Bonus episodes. And back, behind the scenes uh, in, info and behind like, the scenes footage. Info. Yes. And um, merch discounts. Mon- monthly live Q&As. No way. Where we answer all of your questions. That's incredible. Can I ask Even you- the weird ones. Ooh, fun. That sounds like a blast. I bet you can go to patreon.com forward slash ninjas are butterflies. That's incredible. Um, can you tell me something quick about the, my future? You will die. How? Fire. From a medium. When? 150 years. Nice. Wasn't that ad fun? I had an okay time, I guess, yeah. Oh, all right. Um, Mexican aliens, you know that was a hoax. Yeah, yes. bummer. It, bummer! It, like, turned, like, it's, like, proven. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> the guy was, so, first of all, the congressional hearing, whatever happened in Mexico, it was open. So, anyone can come in and God. talk about whatever. <laughs> so, so, Mexico was just doing a show and tell? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> it's just, like, a, like, um, what do you call it? The, um. Well, it's like a council meeting or whatever. Yeah, like a community like, something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like uh, the, like those bros that go up to yeah. California. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this dude is potentially going to prison now. Yeah. I, I mean, there's got to be something illegal. What well, did you do? The aliens had human bones in it. Oh no! That he took from Peru. Hey. And so basically, he smuggled in human <laughs> remains into Mexico, which is a crime. But guess what? It was just a prank. Guys, I was joking. <laughs> Guys, do not take this seriously. Please. Uh, they were already dead. Yeah. Can you guys hear me munching? No, you're good. No. Promise? Right. Yep. Um, okay. It's munchable, these bugles. We just lost 30,000 subscribers. <laughs> Lady munch too much. <laughs> um, When do you guys want to hear about the Illuminati? I would love for you to dive into it. Should we go? Should we do, um, do these? Do these guys over here and then end on the Illuminati, like the big part? Sure. Let's do that. Are you prepared? Right. Oh, he's prepared. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, I want to hear about it. Okay. But first we have... Question, question corner, corner, question corner, corner question corner with Lily. Lily. The questions are fresh, fresh on her mind. mind. <laughs> In the spirit of Halloween, um, I want to talk about my favorite movie franchise, other than Harry Potter, Twilight. Okay. And Stephanie. What is this song where they dance to it? The uh, <laughs> the dance in the under the, in the gazebo at the end of the yeah. first movie. What's that song? Oh, that's the um. um I was a man. is that Kings yeah, of yeah. House. No, that's uh, oh, sleeping at last, right? Or no? Iron wine. Iron wine. That's what uh-huh. it is. Yeah. I was a fat. And weren't they like, why did you use that song? They had no idea. They're like, it has nothing to do with romance. It was like not romantic at all. Oh, it sounds like it though. That's the thing. Isn't that crazy? But it put them on the map. It put them on the map just like Taylor Swift put Travis Kelsey on the map. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, who's ever heard? I've never heard of Travis Kelsey. But the thing is, I actually have it. It's so funny. Because Andy told me that whole TikTok trend where the wives are like, it's so cool that Taylor Swift put Travis Kelsey on the map. And then he told me that. I'm like, who's Travis Kelsey? Yeah. It's like, he plays football. Yeah, he's probably I, the greatest tight end that may have ever played NFL. Ever you know? Yeah. I, I tried to get Josh with it, and I'm like, man, this is going to be a hard sell because <laughs> I don't like Taylor Swift at all. So he's just going to be like, why are you even like, yeah. caring about anything? And he said, I already know what you're up to. Because <laughs> I got him so good with the Roman Empire thing. Oh, we didn't even talk about that. We did. <laughs> Go do yeah, your question we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. Yeah. In Stephanie Meyer's hit saga, Twilight. <laughs> inspired by my, my game War Romance. <laughs> also inspired by 9-11. Go ahead. <laughs> um, vampires in this series have sometimes have special affinities or gifts. Like Edward Cullen can read minds. Alice can see the future. Once Bella becomes a vampire, she is like a force field. <laughs> if you were a vampire... Stephanie Meyer's hit series Twilight. What would your vampire affinity be? I could do math, but as long as it was in food form. <laughs> Seven 30, grapes. <laughs> Seven grapes times thirty thousand. <laughs> mine, mine would be I would be really good at break dancing. Cool. Break dance fighting. Yes. <laughs> yes. So like okay, the, yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. the final montage scene would have been so dope if you were break like dance in, fighting. Like in Zoolander. <laughs> yes. 
Oh man. Okay. My actual gift. Oh man. What do you think my gift would be? What do you, what do you think that would be like? It's like when I get angry, when I'm ready to fight, how do I defend myself? How would Andy defend I, himself? The, literally the first thing that popped <laughs> in my mind was that you'd be like Kirby from a uh, super Mario brothers. Like, Kirby. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> take over their powers. I just so consume them. You could consume another vampire, but like physically. You'd be yeah. like, you're like, I grow big. Just my jaw hits the floor. Doesn't consume them. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That or like, or it's just like a fat roll thing where it's like, I just like place them underneath my skin. And they just become part of me. <laughs> consume their power. I now have your power. <laughs> um, what about you, Andrew? Uh, I'd be also half wolf because seeing me is not in that franchise. Would True, be weird. yeah, he yeah. Would. You would have to be a werewolf, dude. Yeah. A, a, a pale white Andrew would be the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. That would be funny <laughs> if he was just like <laughs> just scaly pale, just like crazy. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I mean, they do have like the black vampires and stuff. They do. Yeah, yeah. they have just you, no have, Asians. Have you seen that? It, I don't know what's on. It's a Twilight meme page, I think, or it's just a meme page, but it's called um, the Twilight baseball movie scene, <laughs> like yeah. or Twilight baseball scene. It's that's old. all. That's the name of their it's meme so page. It's so good. It's so good. That well, whole movie. Yeah. What's your yeah, power? You, yeah. Explain your power. I want it to be something like teleporting, but I, it would probably have to do with yelling. <laughs> yelling like shock like waves. The, the <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> 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 that would be great. Uh, I asked I asked Demi recently like what superpower she would want. Like she asked me and I asked her back and she said teleportation. I'm like, nice. That's, That's a, a really good one. I mean, like, you go back to jumper. Yeah. It's yeah. just it's the greatest gift. Mm -hmm. It would be the coolest thing to just be able to teleport. Uh the Roman Empire. So that trend that was going on. Did around. you say your yes. gift? Yeah, you yeah. Did. Breakdance fighting. That's right. Yeah. That's the best one. But like really good. <laughs> Um, spinning on your head for 20 minutes how often do you think about the roman empire let me set it up like this the question that's going around that's trending is wives or girlfriends. daughter gir girlfriends whatever women ask men how often do you think about the roman empire and it's super funny like some of these responses yeah lily asked me without me knowing this trend yeah and i said like out of 365 days probably 40 to 80 days that's out of the crazy year. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> it's not that crazy. It's a crazy. Some dudes. Thing. Some dudes were saying twice a day. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, like that's bonkers. Somebody said like all the time. Yeah, like when you <laughs> use the toilet. Plumbing. Romans. Yeah, plumbing. What do you, what do you mean? Oh, plumbing. Yeah, but you know, uh, China invented uh, porcelain. So. Cool. Oh, so you think about China when you sit on the can? I do now. <laughs> There's a butterfly effect. I was looking at butterfly effects yesterday, <laughs> and there was a butterfly effect with porcelain. Apparently. Oh. Nice. Yeah. So, but um. No, I don't think about the Roman Empire at all. That's the thing. I, I mean, I, I probably maybe I would say five times a year because I watch Gladiator or think about Gladiator. But then, if you're thinking about Roman Empire, if I read my like read my Bible and it's like, yeah. then I think about it, sure, quite a bit. So it's like yeah. I don't know. It's kind of probably I would say maybe thirty times a year. That's that's pushing it though. Okay, because I'm not thinking about singular Roman Empire. Yeah. I'm thinking about things that involve the Roman Empire. Yeah, geographically, so probably yeah. none. You guys seen the follow up where the dudes like it's not men that think about the Roman Empire all the time; it's white men. White men, yeah. yeah. Mm. I guess that makes sense. It's a white guy thing to do. It's like the World War Why? II Roman Empire. It's just history. It's, yeah, I guess. I so. think about ninjas, Genghis Khan. Mm. Yeah. I actually Hawaii. think about. I told Lily, I probably think about Genghis Khan way more than I think about Rome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did I'm say like, that. I have a. I'm just fascinated by it, dude, mm -hmm. because it's it's a major part of our history. <laughs> yeah. And like he killed a lot of people, mm -hmm. and like the how much he conquered was insane. Like I mean, he was like on the borders of like France, basically, dude. Mm -hmm. Like he like went all the way over. Yeah. And their only downfall, the only reason the Mongolian Empire was erased, was because they ended up turning on each other. They literally killed really? each other. Like Got they it. was like, oh man, because one of the leaders converted to Islam. And then the other one was killing uh, Muslims and stuff. Yeah. And so he's like, no. And he's like, yes. And then they <laughs> fought. And then it was done. It's like the house, the house, house divided, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that was like two verses at the same time. Ooh. House divided, live by the sword, die by the sword. Nice. Mm. Um, I heard, uh, I want to hear your 
version of what you think girls I Roman know, Empire I don't, is. I don't know. But I but I heard on TikTok it was like, what's the female equivalent? Yeah. And it said it was um how often do you think about uh, Mr. Darcy clenching his fist? Uh, that is <laughs> a big one. I literally, honestly, probably like every three days. But um, she does quote Mr. Darcy. Like, See, that's what I'm saying. A lot. Yeah. But yeah. I saw one that was like one of them, and I don't think this is the same because I think this applies to like fathers too. But it was talking about like, um, like how to break your kids out of a van if you've driven it over a bridge into water. Okay, I, th- I think about that often I, too. Yeah. And literally, every time I get in the car, I think about it. Yeah. Um, another one was, and I had never heard of it. It was like about a fire, a factory fire that was run by women in America. Okay. And it, it basically was like the, the pilot for workers rights was mm-hmm. this event because none of the women could get out. Oh, and yikes. they were like, I think about this like every day. And I'm like, Jeez. I've never heard of it. So I, I went to either. a private school that didn't teach anything. What, um, if you, what if you found out every woman thinks about that every day? <laughs> <laughs> like that's like, that's the thing. There's gotta be something out there that's truly obscure that yeah. we're like, Every woman's on sync with this. Like they all think about this every single day or every. Let week. us know in the comments, yeah. so women. What do you all think about? Yeah, tell us what you think about. It's so, just like every the whole comments. <laughs> <laughs> we have ten thousand comments <laughs> and one billion words. I recorded my dad and I didn't tell him, so he's gonna be so mad. But I I asked him too, and I like secretly filmed. Yeah, it. and he was like, all the time. <laughs> you like, I literally think about it like every two days. His answer was good though. Yeah, and I agreed like, with it. Because it's like what we're going through now, right? Yeah, yeah. Like currently, it applies. Yeah. 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 I saw some guy go off on TikTok. He's like, this is why. And he was like, passionate. Yeah. It was like, you're yeah. like, yeah, you definitely think about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but speaking of Harry Potter. October. No, Dumbledore died. No, Dumbledore oh. died today. I saw. What's his name? We got to give him some respect. I saw. It was Sir something. Yeah. What dude a was a legend. Dude was an absolute legend. Um, Michael Gambon. I'm yeah. assuming that's how you pronounce. 82 years. What a legend. Dumbledore wands up. <laughs> I, wait, I was th- I was making a joke earlier at Joshua. I was like, imagine all the people that are going to be universal crying today. Just in like, the middle <laughs> of like, do the one. <laughs> it's like, okay, come on. He it's was like, my he, Dumbledore. He did way more than Dumbledore. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, he like, did, yeah, he was yeah. He's a phenomenal a actor. A huge English actor, yeah. Listen, if you're mad that Dumbledore died today, wait till you find out what happened in the books like 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but um, shout out to him. Shout out. But yeah. uh, what were, what were we going to talk about after that? <laughs> okay, I, thought, I thought there was something I interrupted, but I guess we can go to Mr. Andrew over there. Yeah, he has, yeah, I'm going to pee first. You're going to go? Yes, just real quick. Okay, go. Think of a song. Think of a song. All right. Uh, let's think of, uh, yeah, think of a band or a song. A band or a song. Somebody had requested Linkin Park. Linkin Park? But okay. I don't know how we could do that. Yeah. You also could do um, Neil Young. <clears throat> How does, how does Old her man, f- girl, look at my yeah. Let's do that one. Oh, Andrew has something to say. It is a lot like you. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew has a story, and we're going to listen through. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right, here we go. I did so much research, and what I uncovered is absolutely insane. I figured out where the red-haired giants come from. You remember from, talking about that? Yeah, Lovelock Cave. Okay. Yeah, Lovelock. Yeah. yeah. So Nevada. I found their origin documented across multiple tribes, people, nations from North America. Have you heard of the Moon-Eyed People? No. I have not heard of the Moon-Eyed People. Yeah. Oh, we should we should have done Harvest Moon then. Bum, bum, dun, dun. Andrew has real. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's this, there's, there's all these legends of across North America of these people with fair skin, light hair and pale eyes. They're the first one I want to start out is this, this uh, legend starts in Wales. There's a Prince Maddock of Wales in 1170. He sailed, there's a civil war breaking out and he had to sail like to get away. He didn't want to die by his brother's hand. He's like, I'm going to go explore goes to North America, lands in Mobile Bay, finds everything he's hoping for, goes back to Wales, gets more ships, more people, but is never seen again. Uh-oh. And so, like, oh. that's the end of that story. Like, literally. Wait, so he, he went 
back to Wales. He, yep. And then it, sailed back to the U.S. Yeah, brought then, more people with him. Yep. He yeah. was never seen again. They don't. What about know, the people? Gone they don't to? know. They don't know what happened. Oh. Five hundred years later, there's a missionary from Wales. His name is a. Uh, in my notes, Morgan Jones. He lands in South Carolina, starts doing mission work. The natives capture him, and they're like, they're killing them. They're like, we don't want you here. Yeah. And so they they tie him up. He's about to be beheaded, and then he notes, he yells out, he's like, I have, he's like, I've escaped so many perils. He's like, have I really escaped all of these just to die like a dog? And that's when the chief comes out. <gasps> is a dude? The chief is a small, pale-skinned, big, light-eyed, light-haired human who comes out, walks up to him, and says, you shall not die today. What's crazy is that he spoke perfect Welsh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Could you imagine how scary that would be? You're there, you're facing your death, and you see this weird, pale human being that you've never seen before in your life, and it speaks the, your native tongue. Oh, that would, oh man. So it gets even crazier. They discovered a ton more settlements, a ton more structures. In Illinois, there's a uh, there's an establishment called Cahokia, six square mile city that once held 40,000 people. It literally had 80 mounds on this massive acreage. They're saying it's the biggest developed settlement north of the Aztecs from that time period. That's what I was talking Whoa. about that one time where I thought it was in Ohio, but it was there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They wow. Be they believe that that, because the, the, the way it was built matches how things were built in Wales. And so, oh, wow. And so they're literally like, but think about it. It's, it was a Yeah, because they have those mounds all throughout Wales and England and stuff, like they, the mysterious yeah. mounds. They uh -huh. dug under them, and the teardrop foundation is literally the same foundation Dude. of their uh, fortifications for war that they were using in Wales from that same time period. Just so the architecture is the same. Yes. Wow. Just a quick clarification. Yep. How long between when the missionary came and then those people disappeared? 500 years. Okay. So there's plenty of time right. for them to yeah, develop yeah. fortifications. But wow. that's what's interesting is it's ancient Wales. Right. That's what the tech technology is developed off of. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, like, they're, like, growing at this rate in yep. Wales at the time. So there's this history, 500 years, probably, of these people from Wales who are intermarrying, mingling, growing, becoming their own civilization. There's another story of uh, these people. They're called the Moonite people. It's the Cherokee story. They say when they arrived um, in North America, in the Southeast, in like Appalachia, they were saying there was already people before them. And oh, they wow. went to war with them. They said these people had large eyes, but they were hazy, light blue eyes, and they couldn't see um, in the daylight. So they only came out at night. They fought with them all the time and they weren't able to drive them out until they realized that even under the light of a full moon, it affected their ability to see. Oh. So they attacked them and drove them West in 1450, I believe is the year. There's a legend, a story of a war between the white and the red Indians. That's how the legend phrases oh, no. it. He said, Oh no. <laughs> but here's, here's what they say though. They say the, the, the white Indians lost intermarried with another pale tribe. Remember, we have Welsh yeah, tribe yeah, that yeah. exists. They inter so these, this other pale tribe got defeated, intermarried with another pale tribe, and when they lost that, they got driven even further west. So what we have is this migration of pale people from the south, from the north, moving to the west. Then we arrive at the Paiute story, okay. where barbarians came with, they were tall, they were pale-skinned, they were hazy-eyed, red haired and they dwelt in caves Ugh. because they didn't like the light of day. They fought with them for years until they were able to lock them all in a cave, set the entrance of the cave on fire. And that's the love lock story we've talked about. So they're like Welsh ish. But here's the question. Or are they? Who were the original moon eyed people? Yeah. We understand where yeah, the height came from. Came from. Yeah. We don't know where the small, moon eyed people came from and there's literally an artifact on display in a museum of a three foot tall alien like <gasps> statue carved out of soapstone that looks like every stereotypical alien that we've ever depicted that's uh, that someone built back then did they yeah. in honor of him wow did they say whether or not these uh, moon eyed people did they have like any abilities like or they were just creepy looking wise 
Well, what's what's interesting is just the sheer size of some of the things that were developed, the fact that they were able to war successfully without the ability to see. There's a lot of like, how were they able to do this? Yeah. But it makes you wonder why he would be a leader. You ready? Here's back the, in the time of the natives. Yeah. Here's the photo. This is what they depict the moon eyed people as. Uh, oh, weird. Yeah, that's so scary, dude. Um, how is it so consistent? I guess um, history? where yeah. where did the the connection with the giants with the moon eyed people? Like, I'm trying to figure. The that moon eyed people are the small people from Appalachia, right? Up north, there's these people from Wales, and and it started Mobile, and then there's you're saying they like they got the, together. So if you look at a map, it starts out in Wales, and then it goes up to Illinois where they developed. So the people who landed in the Gulf yeah. went north. The Moonite people in Appalachia moved west. And so you have this Welsh Indian middle of the U.S. So it's like tribes. just this hodgepodge that would, in yep. theory, create this but giant. It, yep. if, you take, if you take the red hair, the pale skin, the height from um, northern Europe, <sighs> and you mix it with we can't see in the daylight, we have large hazy eyes. But also, but also, people. freaking Native Americans were like seven feet tall, dude. Like there were some like yeah, there were some tall. Native Americans that were like seven feet tall. Like so, like it's scary. Like that's like there's a lot of possibilities with all that, dude. They were tall that's when Europeans wild. were very short back then. Yeah, like they say, like, dude. They if were, like, we were back in Europe back in the day, yeah, we'd be crushing it, dude. Yeah, we'd be crushing it. Yeah, crushing the, the girls back, everything. Girls, girls back then are like, I don't date a guy that's not at least five three. <laughs> Like they're like our six what, foot today. What's is up, Paul Bunyan's here, baby? <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you? Five, five. eight. <gasps> five. <eight>. Wow. <laughs> so tall. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> that's that's, that's <laughs> five inches taller than my previous husband. <laughs> Who died from the plague. <laughs> that's crazy. Crazy. I want to look that's into wild. that because I'm telling you, the connections all over the world. Even going back to like biblical times, yeah. it's mm-hmm. like just like with the fallen angels and like the Nephilim, like all this stuff, dude. It's wild. Yep. And it's not like it's unrelated. There's all these tiny little like breadcrumbs that all have similar that things connect all, somehow from yeah. all types of cultures that have no contact with each other. It's wild. It's like the whole dragon thing, dude. It's that's it's strange. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was definitely tripping out. They found even in Georgia, they found like thousand foot long stone. Walls. There's like parks that you can go to today. We're like, we're not entirely sure where this came from, but because it's not Native American, it, like as we understand that. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, that's wild, dude. Wow. That's wild. That's hey, wild stuff. Hey, wild stuff. Dude. Absolutely. Um, but wild. speaking of aliens and stuff, did you see that? Um, that it was like this satellite thing that NASA they just recovered, like somewhere in the desert. That was it. Was theirs? Yeah. So they sent this satellite to this giant, giant meteor that's like pretty far off, but they went to collect samples of what this meteor is made out of Mm -hmm. because they said it has potential to hit Earth in 150 years. Oh, boy. Cool. And so they crashed, and this, this, it was literally like this big, right? And it had like, I don't even, it was like 20 grams worth of the rocks Mm -hmm. from the meteor. Yeah. But it was like that piece of equipment was worth one billion dollars jeez so now they're studying it to see what this meteor is made out of so yeah. they could potentially destroy it destroy it because it's heading towards us nice hey that's my grandkids grandkids problems yeah it's like three oh, times man. as tall as like the empire state building oh my goodness that thing's massive it's really big it's really <laughs> big it's really man. big <laughs> One billion dollars. But that just freaked me out. So like, yeah, we need to study it because it has the potential to hit Earth in 150 years. Yeah. Like, How do you like clock out at the end of a day and be like, I'll, I'll figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Yeah, for real. Seriously. Time, time's not an issue. Oh my gosh. Well, um, I, you talk about the future 150 years from now. Like, you know, I've, I've always been very like, uh, just understanding and very like accepting of my own mortality like it's like we're all gonna die it's not a big deal and i keep hearing like people talking about like hey you know like in two generations no one will remember you and it's like it's like supposed to be motivational it's like okay whatever but i think people like that whole mindset's kind of gonna be changed in a little bit right because like i don't know about you like i mean yeah we all are kind of curious about like our past and like our you know our ancestors and stuff i think it's so funny that 150 years from now people will be able to look up this podcast. Yeah. Like our grandkids will be able to, like our great, great, great grandkids will be able to say, 
Like if I knew my great, great, great grandpa had a radio station and I could li- listen to his music files and like his like recordings and stuff, I would listen to him. Yeah. And the, so the fact that people are going to be listening to this. What do you have to say to them right now? Um, uh, look out for that asteroid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Um, um, but isn't that wild? Unless we have like a like apocalyptic like blackout and we lose all yeah, yeah. things on the I hon- Honestly, that's probably best case scenario. Or if Jesus like, comes <laughs> back and then yeah. we just don't care. People yeah. talk about how everything on the internet is like written in ink, but I'm like from the MySpace generation and I've lost everything. So yeah, that's true. But it exists somewhere. That's the, that's no, the scary thing. That's the, I looked it up. I tried to find all my band's music and like started like diving in when someone MySpace, has it. Dude, that's what I'm saying. No. It's on a server somewhere. MySpace being sold. <laughs> my, maybe MySpace though. They, they made a mistake though. They switched servers and lost like 60,000. Yeah, like, like gigs or songs or something like that. They lost all the hard drives. That yeah, while trying to transfer it. Boo! That, thanks, wish Tom. I could see Josh's MySpace. It was pretty Dude. pretty awesome. I wish. What was what was your what first was your email address? I still have it. What? Oh, the AOL one. Yeah, <laughs> I still have it. Yeah. The, what? What? Was, do you remember your first email? It had something to do with baking because I thought I was going to be a baker. <laughs> really? Which I can't even like bake bread or cookies. Do you remember yours? Yeah, but I still use it for different logins right really? okay yeah yeah <laughs> i no joke i don't i can't get into it now but i remember the moment my sister came up with like, like we, were, we were trying to come up with something and i was like oh this is it this is real good <laughs> it was hotty patati <laughs> <laughs> hotmail.com i was like what is this do you remember all the cool kids had like rocks like jen rocks your socks or something yeah my socks. xd xd <laughs> you know, you know, like, <laughs> did you guys cool. use aol instant messenger oh yeah oh yeah or the door MS, yeah, dude, yeah. it is the best, man. You just like sit there and like wait for the door to open, <laughs> but you can't like jump in too quick when someone gets on. Yeah, yeah, gotta play it cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who are you playing it cool for? Um. Oh, do we, we don't have enough know. time. <laughs> really? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's tons of doors opening on my my aim. Um, that is so fun. I don't have time to go into the Illuminati, so I'll have to save it again. Okay. Yeah, no worries. That's all right. I'm adding to it more and more. Okay. I'm um, sorry. But speaking about, no, that was a good, really good story. Um, I got me. I gave me goosebumps yes, a couple of times. Fun. That was fun. <laughs> the, the moon eyes. Scared I just I, when you said the guy comes out, I literally picture like the Native Americans like part and like this white pale uh, fish <laughs> comes out. So apparently, he's and only he, like three yeah. feet tall. Dude, what if they, it was just like a toddler? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't die today. <laughs> Speaks okay. perfect Welsh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Um, when you said uh, erase servers, I don't know who said that, but it yeah. reminded me of uh, you know the whole story about Toy Story two, right? How that got. Yeah. saved right have you heard this no never no. oh it's so fun um so pixar is working on toy story 2 i think it's toy story 2 um they were working on it and it was almost completed and then boom their computers crashed everything was deleted gone Jeez, completely off the map and they're scrambling because m- millions of dollars years of work now ruined um but then they remembered that they had a woman who was on pregnancy leave oh and she had taken her computer and her server home to work from home. And this is in the 90s. And uh, they call her and say, can you please bring this in? So she's carrying in this server that literally is worth had all this Toy Story stuff hundreds of millions probably like, now. Drop it, drop yeah, it's like, like, so she brings it in and literally saves the day. Oh, my god! All because of a mom on pregnancy leave. Wow. I think that's amazing. Go, let's, get, hey, let's give it up for moms, yeah. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> You're one of them. Yeah, you could also clap for other moms too. Okay, you don't. It's not just you don't <laughs> represent all moms. I love moms. <laughs> yep. Bet, 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 bet. Hey, but there might be something um, after this show. No way. That will be on Patreon. Patreon. Let's talk about Patreon. We have a little, we have a little bit of time. Let's talk about Patreon. What do we want to do on Patreon? A lot of stuff. We're gonna have. We're gonna try to do a show after the show. So we're doing a short podcast. Real mini like episodes after each podcast that's gonna be uploaded every week. Yep, and we're gonna do the occasional vlog of like our travels, behind the scenes stuff of us setting up in and the office. I things. don't know Patreon. They probably don't flag you if you use copyright music. So Ooh. we might we Ooh. might do exclusive exclusive songs. That actually would be fun on Patreon. If we could do exclusive songs, that would be so much fun. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Live so, Q and A's. Live Q and A's. We're yeah. doing we're doing discounts on merch. Discounts on merch, guys. This is yeah. like this is and probably if you hit a certain tier or if you sign up for a certain tier, you might get uh, some free merch occasionally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, there's 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 going to be multiple levels that you can you can be a part of this community. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, so we've it's this, in the description. Yeah, you got to check it out. And uh, yeah. Patreon.com slash. We just want to hang out with you guys more, and we want to make you guys like way more content. And yeah, hope fun stuff. That's what you want. So Hopefully. we're giving it to you. We're giving it to you, and we're giving it to you for cheap too. Yeah, it's gonna be a blast. I'm I'm, I'm excited about it. In a um, next week, we're talking. We'll be able to talk about it two weeks from now. Um, but oh, next week we're going to Dallas, Dallas to go hang out with the ch- people of the chosen, hang yep. out, interviewing Dallas Jenkins, Dallas Jenkins. Ah! Yep. We're going to do that. A lot so, of fun stuff. So if you're in Dallas, come <laughs> have fun. Yeah. Um, but make sure to like and review this podcast, please recommend it to a friend. Go to sundaycoolswag.com. We got merch there. We got um, new stuff coming out. Uh, soon with a Patreon too. There's gonna be exclusive merch. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that, that, that's exclusive. the cool thing too is that you're we're gonna be dropping merch either early to you guys or exclusively just to Patreons. So yeah. It's gonna be a big deal. Yep. Okay. That's it. Love you. Love you guys. Thanks so Love much you. for watching. Bye. Bye, baby. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! You were martial arts! Fuck it, Jonathan! You do not talk to me like that ever again! Enough! Now! Yes, sir.